So we're only one week removed from the last tournament and definitely go watch that video, but it was time for me to finish my beetle. And thank goodness for Team Malice. They helped me get everything done and get all the parts printed that I need. Go check them out. I'll do a full build breakdown on this three pound drop kick at another date, but this is all about the fights at the Florida State Fair presented by Amrock. And this time I got to go with two of my best friends, Scott and Pierce. Scott had never been to one of these events before, uh, but he was so ready to come out and check it out. And Pierce had been to an event before, but had never seen me compete and he was pumped to go. And just like that, we were ready to take on the Florida State Fair. Yeah, Award winning robots. Yes. Have eaten food. Big ass jawbreakers. And a robot that's shaped like a shark. All of this and more at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Team Junkyard Dogs right over here next to us. Woo! Three pound drop kick made it through safety and weigh in. We got my boy Scott here with us today as part of our team. Pierce is off in the bathroom. Oh, uh, embarrassing. We got plenty of great teams out here today. Got a new three pounder over here. It's a little 150 gram robots. There's quite a few of those today. It's the arena. And the one and only Sam McAmis over here. Woo! Everyone's out here today, man. It's great. Got a Star Child esque bot over there. Woo! But are you the lone member today? Darren's here too. Okay, so small squad today. Gotcha. Nice. Insomnia. Purple fires out here. Let's go. And last but not least, we got Rain and what's this guy's name again? Steamroller. Steamroller. Woo! He's got an awesome little self writing arm on there. And then there's a slap box. Big slapping robot. And then a little cheese wedge. And we got Pierce here with us today. And a tiny lassie. Bro. <laughs> Let's go. Everything was set for the fights. All the competitors were ready to go. And it was just down to figuring out what kind of stuff we wanted to do at the fair. Yeah, I wanted to show my boys a good time. So Pierce went over all the festivities. They got a dragon. Yeah, it's like an animatronic or maybe a big puppy dragon. No, we got to pretend it's real. Well, I think no. it's real. I'm just yeah. kidding. I don't want big dragons. Wow. What's the racing picks? Yeah. Uh, Baconator beat Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, you already watched that? Yeah, I watched it while I was asking. Yeah. Dude, why do you think he's gone for so long? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's... I got distracted because they said it's a pig racing. And it was like, well, yeah, I gotta watch that shit. Yeah, he saw the name. He's like, bet. Yeah. They have a female daredevil, but I'm fine with that. It's not like an Is she going like the one in the show? No, she's just, um, she has an adrenaline inducing thrill show. Oh, they got motorcycle circus. That's a separate circus just for motorcycles. Yeah. Is that just Daytona Bike Week? Later, we went to a fire juggling show and got burned on the way out. He said, say goodbye to Florida's newest boy band, No Direction. Jeez, roasted. Ooh, right out of the gate, big box rush. We get stuck on our face and flipped over. We're trying to get to the side of him. We get a big knock, and I think we tore open the side of his wedge. We're jockeying for position. Oh, and we tear off one of his wheels, absolutely chunking it to pieces. We're tangoing around for position. Oh, and another big hit there. And is that it? Yep, that's it. We got him high centered, and the match was over. We did a little break dance and realized that we needed to lock tight those set screws that we had on our wheels, keep those hubs from coming right off. Congrats to Sam for a great fight. It's always an extra feather in the cap whenever you beat a BattleBots captain. He's such a great driver, and what a fight. KO went over Team Gruff out of the way. We got to take a picture with a bot, and it's time for Grub. 
this was the most massive fair I had ever seen. All the local fairs were kind of small, you know, whatever, but this was huge. Everything was on a gigantic scale. Uh, we were having a ton of fun. We ate some really crazy foods throughout the day that you'll see more of later. And up next, we went in and saw a donut eating contest. Now this donut eating contest was kind of weird. Uh, they only give the contestants like six donuts, but they're these big Amish donuts. And then we got to see Smokey the Bear. This was the most dripped out, cool looking Smokey the Bear ever. He was throwing up gang signs. He had the hat tipped down. It's a cool looking dude. They had a big old barn there too. Once we found our way back inside, we found out that we were going to be having to face off against one of the craziest, scariest robots in the state, Big G. Now this thing is a champ. It's absolutely torn through plenty of robots. We were gonna have to figure out what we were gonna do against it. And I was nervous. I've seen this robot totally eviscerate other robots out there. So my hands were a little sweaty. I was a little nervous. I knew if we could hang with them, we could hang with anyone in the three pound class. So I grabbed my controller. I got ready to go. I mentally prepped everything I could in my brain to keep me focused. And we got down to it. The fight starts off fast as this whole fight goes. With a huge hit, we won the tip speed engagement, and then we won a few other hits after that. Incredible. We broke part of the arena. We kept coming at them. What were we going to do here? A little bobbing and weaving. Oh, another big hit and another big hit. Wow, this is going fantastic. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe what I'm seeing. We come in for another little pop and get, on, get it on inside, and dang, the wheel comes off. This is going really good now, but oh, we got a pretty decent hit against us, and we're stuck upside down, so I'm having to figure out whether I want to face him or I want to turn around and hit the wall, and it looks like here I'm about to turn around and hit the wall. There we go. I'm flipped right back over. They've got that wheel sitting in the middle of the floor. We got Oh, that was a huge hit right there too, and I'm back upside down again, so I have to decide whether I'm gonna turn and face him and hit him, flip myself off of his weapon, or I'm gonna turn and hit that wall, and I flip myself off the weapon, almost get stuck there, and we keep going, we keep fighting, we get another decent little tap, tap there, but the weapon's starting to spin down. See, the hub was just pressed on, we didn't have the screws in there or anything, so we had to deal with that. We uh, kept facing off with them, and oh, another big pop there. With only a few more seconds left and our weapon being pretty much down at this point, I just needed to make sure that he didn't flip me over so I didn't get stuck on my face and counted out. I'm sitting here, uh, my hands are shaking, I'm a little nervous. I just need to wait out the rest of this fight. I know that I'm gonna have it on the judge's decision and I just need to push him around a little bit. I was having a hard time with that. This new brushless drive system is very fast, but it's not very responsive on the lower end. So I was having to get used to how, how to drive with that. Still though, I knew it was just a matter of time. I just need to wait him out and not get stuck on my face. A couple more bumps in there and I would have this match. I was just waiting for that time to count right down. We came out with a clear judge's decision win and it was time for some food. Cargo pants are cool. Watch. Corn pizza for the boys. It's corn, corn pizza. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn and it's on pizza. Mm, bite, bite camera. Mm, corn pizza. Now we had taken out the young champ Carter, but it was time to take on Papa Bear Steve and his robot Ruga Ru. Now, Rougarou's whole weapon setup is about a pound, so I didn't know how I was gonna take this thing on, especially being that Dropkick's design isn't exactly suited for horizontal spinners. But I decided I'm gonna go balls to the walls, I'm gonna flip that switch all the way up and hit his bot with everything Dropkick's got. Both robots took a second to line up a big hit, and dang, was that a big one. We both flew across the arena. Dropkick's weapon was spinning up a little bit slow, and their weapon wasn't spinning up at all. I had seen Rougarou take a little nap with this weapon before, so I knew I needed to get back over as soon as I could, but I really had to keep engaging. I knew he had that uh, carbon fiber top and bottom plate, and I knew that if I hit that from the top, there's a chance I could break it. But I also knew I needed to get flipped over in case that weapon came back on. So we got a little stuck together here. Uh, we got free again. 
and I came in for another big hit. His weapon actually started spinning again, so we got a decent hit on each other. And it looks like I actually knocked something loose, and he started spinning 100% again. So we were doing a little tango, a little dance. He knocked off my crappy little top plate I had on there, but luckily everything that was guarding the battery was still on. Honestly, the robot could have run without a top plate. I have everything secured and zip tied and protected as well as I could, even without the top plate. We got stuck together and got a little restart. I wanted to flip right back over so I could get self-righted. It looked there like their weapon was a little lagging and we got a huge hit, flipped them up on the wall and it went to a double KO countdown. So we didn't get to capture my reaction to the first win, and I was pretty nervous about this one. It was pretty split. <laughs> Pierce was messing around with Scott a little bit. They were having some fun. Lo and behold, he actually caught the decision. Dang, was I relieved that we got the win and moved on to the final against, once again, Gruff. Now, the first time around, I was fighting Team Captain Sam, but his son, Vinny, took the controls this time around. You could see him over there. He was having a great time. He was lining up some shots. He's a great little driver, and I was uh, trying to come after him, trying to do something, and I got a big hit here and stuck him up on the wall. Now, if this wasn't a final, I would not I would have let it go, but uh, it was a final, so we agreed that we would uh, just run out the rest of the match, and I took home the win. I know it was kind of a quick final match. I wish I had tested it more, but honestly, when I took it home, there was so much broken I didn't realize it was broken. I probably would have lost the rest of the match and a good chunk of change in that prize money. So we decided to duke it out for a little bit. Vinny showing off his, his driving skills, Dropkick showing off how broken it was and how slow it was moving. So I just wanted to tango with him for a little bit. I spun down the weapon as to not to break anything on my own robot and decided I'd just square up with him a little. But uh, he was doing a great job controlling the fight. Uh, he got underneath me a few times, got me to gyro up on my side. Good little rush there, man. What a great young driver here. I mean, truly a uh, protege of Sam such a great driver in his own right and his son taking up the mantle right after him i'm stuck on top he's taking for me for a ride i can't really do anything at this point i really don't care to do anything at this point we're having some fun we start spinning around a little bit from wall to wall to wall and right here we do a little dance pleasing the crowd having some fun this was a fun match as it winds down it was a great time Congratulations to Jacob, and I'm, I'm so happy to be here with Vinny. Let's go! Vinny! 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 V
zip ties, robots. These are the many things you can see here at the Florida State Fair. Here's the 